Let's start with the bag here that was kindly supplied to me by Artisan and Artists. FYI, I got a discount code from them in the description, so if you like what you see, then you're welcome for the hookup. I've been using this bag for about six months now, and it's been everything I wanted out of a daily street carry. Durable but light canvas exterior, super thick durable zippers, well protected bottom. Main compartment is a traditional insert style soft padded affair with adjustable velcro dividers to make three separate spaces. Feel is light but weighted on the shoulders with an adjustable strap so you can go cross body how you like. I have a ton of bags but this one fits my style perfectly. Artisan and artists are a beast when it comes to quality. Maybe I'm wrong on this one, but for me, the beast doesn't include selling out. So let's see what's inside, shall we? Front pocket, I got my AirPod Pros. They are on me every day with my keys. I listen to music typically just on the train into the city or when I'm having a coffee break. Never when I'm shooting, cause I wanna have all senses available. Next, I got a yellow filter by B plus W. They make the best filters because the glass is the same used by Leica and the frames are made out of brass. If you haven't shot with a yellow filter, they really help separate color tonal range for black and white film or monochrome sensors. Next, I got some gum. Chewing gum really helps my mind relax and concentrate on the street. If you haven't tried chewing while shooting, I think it really is a game changer mentally. Also, I like eating spicy food, so this is a must when I'm talking to people. Okay, on to the main compartment. First up, my main workhorse camera I've been using for years now, the Leica M6 Titanium. This silk and leather strap, made in Japan, is also from Artisan and Artists. It attaches to the camera craft grip perfectly on the bottom. This gives freedom of movement from my wrist and the camera itself. We must move forward, not backward, upward, not forward, and always twirling, twirling, twirling towards freedom. Yeah! Gives my hand and fingers complete unobstructed movement on the side for max comfort and function. Okay, so this is the Camera Craft LM Grip 3.0. I've also been using this for about six months and it's simply perfection. The bottom also doubles as an Arca Swiss plate, so you can slide it on to any Arca Swiss tripod. Or just use the standard size built-in tripod screw. The grip itself attaches with a screw that you can easily tighten with a coin. But as you know, the most important thing is still having access to the film, and that's where this thing shines. And as you know, if you shoot a Leica, then the most annoying thing is dealing with the bottom base plate, putting it away in a pocket or bag, or having to hold it while changing your film is kind of annoying. So this is a real game changer. The grip handle itself is also indented a bit, so I can even grip it with my pinky. So far in the six months I've had it, it's never come off my camera, but if I do take it off, a little surprise is inside. Yep, light meter batteries. Next is the square hood by the maker square hood. This actually fits a few lenses, including the Elmeret Spherical version one, 35 Summicron V4 and V5 Spherical version one. So now you can ditch or replace the plastic hood for this perfectly machined metal hood. Next up, I got a little flash by Reflex Lab. This is perfect for a small camera like the Ricoh GR3, 
But guess what? It actually works for most cameras, including my M6. And if you're wondering about power, it's about equivalent to most built-in flashes out there, like what's found in the Fujifilm X100 series. So it's not powerful, but it's also just enough at close ranges. And if you don't like flash photography, I just got one thing to say to you. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. As for the camera itself, it's an M6. You either get why I have one or don't. I'm not here to convince you about it, at least not in this video. As for the film, I have it in this JCH 5 roll holder. Inside I have my current home bulk rolled black and white film of choice, Kentmere Pan 400. Each roll only cost me about $3 US a pop, and I home develop and scan too. So almost nothing in post cost, just time. For color, I decided based on my huge stock of it, I bought pre-price hike. I will shoot all Kodak gold for 2024. This will help give me a consistent look going forward. And for marking my push processing, I always have a little marker on hand too. I shoot a lot, so this is important on the fly. And next up, we got my usual flash. This is the Olympus FL20. Panasonic and Konica also make the same exact flash. So just look for this design of a flash and it's probably all the same thing. I love the power and refresh time on it and it only takes two AA batteries. And as a secondary lens, I do use the 50 Summicron, mainly for street portraits. This is easily the sharpest lens I've ever owned. The lack of a focusing tab doesn't bother me as it's a 50, so it's meant to be shot slower paced anyways. And that's it for my daily Tokyo setup. Links in the description for everything shown here in the video. I have a lot more videos coming around this year, so stay tuned, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, and share. Without you, I can't keep going. Thanks for watching and stay humble. Goodbye.